Hi everyone, in this tutorial we'll be going over event tracking with Postdoc. Postdoc makes it very simple to get started with event tracking, but we also have a lot of depth with a bunch of our features. So I'm going to be going over the basics and showing off a bunch of our event tracking features. We'll get started by creating a basic React app to do event tracking on. So here we are in a React app that I've created. Um, it's a pretty simple app. It's just some HTML, a couple of forms, a button, and then some ways to handle those forms. And we'll just show it off here by running npm start. So you see it's just um, very simple. A button, a couple of forms, that's all. Next, we're going to add a post hog to this. So to add post hog to our React app, we're going to go over to post hog. Uh, we have a new project here. We're going to click web. Um, we're going to copy this snippet. We're going to go to our public folder. We're going to go to index.html. We're going to look for the header you can see here, and we're just going to add it at the bottom of the header. So we'll save that. This will reload. We'll go back to our React component. We're going to click the button a couple of times, and we're just going to go back to our ingestion wizard. So we'll click continue. It will listen for events. We've done it successfully. Complete. And now we'll see here we have a page view, and we click the button a couple of times. So this gives us kind of some basic events, and you can go a long way with the auto-captured events. But you might want to do something more customizable, and that's where custom events comes in. So to set up custom events, we're first going to go back to our code, and we're going to install Postdoc. So the way to do that is to run npm install postdoc.js. That will install. We'll go back to our index.html file. We'll take this init statement, but we'll remove the rest of the script. We'll save that. We'll go to index.html. We'll import postdoc here from postdoc.js. And then below this, we'll paste in that postdoc init um, initialization with our key and our API host. So we'll save that, and then we'll go into app.js. Here, we'll import postdoc as well. Cool. We want to make this uh, button not say click me. We want to say tutorial event, for example. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an on click handler here. Um, it's going to be tutorial click. And we're going to create a constant function that goes tutorial click. It just takes nothing. And then it captures posthog.capture tutorial click. And then that's great. And then we'll close out that function there. And I'll press save. We'll relaunch the site. And then now when we click, click me, instead of getting the auto captured events, we'll get a, a new tutorial click event. So we'll wait for it to load a little bit here. And you see here we have a tutorial click event. One other thing with the custom events is that you're able to add properties. So to that, we can add a dictionary that will just say uh, tutorial, that's good, and tell us what type of tutorial it is. It's a tracking tutorial. So we'll save that. We'll go back to our React app. We'll click the button a couple more times. Uh, we'll wait for the events to come in. And when we scroll down, we'll see that we have a property tutorial that's set to tracking tutorial. So we'll see here that our person has a long string as an ID. Um, it's not an actual person. So 
we want to identify this person in some way. And, and how we can do that is that we can use postdoc.identify. So back in our code, um, we have a email submit form here, and currently it's just console logging the email. But what we can do is we can instead go postdoc dot identify, and we'll just take the email, um, the email state that we have, and this will identify the user, and any other events they do will be captured as that. Uh, person. So once we save and reload it, we'll go back to our React app. We'll make sure to add a person here. It's just going to be me. Uh, we'll click submit and then we'll click the form a couple times and we'll let, wait for things to reload here. So now you see that we've been identified, ian at postdoc.com. And we've submitted the form and we've typed something into the input and we've clicked the button. So that's great. Next, we're going to go over uh, how to group users. So if you have companies uh, using your product, you can group them or other organization types. We want to group those together and see how they're using it as a collective whole. So we'll go back to our code and we also have this nice company submit. Um, we're going to do a similar thing. We're going to do postdoc.group. We first have to set the company type, so we'll set it to company. And then we have to do the group key, which is going to be our company value. When we save this and go back, we can go to the React app. We can add a company, which will be postdoc. We'll submit. And we'll click the buttons a couple times. And we'll head back to our events and wait for it to load. So we see we submitted, we type something into the input. It can take a little while to load, but we'll go into the button. And when we scroll down, when we see groups, we'll see a company and postdoc. So that means all of the users um, with the postdoc company can be grouped together and analyzed together. And that wraps things up with the basics of event tracking with Postdoc. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Head over to our Slack community at postdoc.com slash Slack, or check out a number of our other tutorials at postdoc.com slash tutorials. Thanks for watching.